What's good with y'all, man? Welcome to the first episode of Kicks and Blicks with your boy, Brother Wick. You feel me? I got my little tea right here because I ain't been in the best, you know, shape. My damn sinuses and all that, you know, but... Yeah, we in the game. This is how we're going to kick it off. We're going to start the day off with an AR-15 pistol. And a nice pair of Nikes. Y'all wanna start with the shoes or the gun? The gun or the shoe? We're gonna start with the shoe. I'm gonna put the gun to the side for now. Put the gun to the side. So. Woo! Boy. I done pulled them out the box a couple times already. But these here. Y'all sure y'all ready? Alright. Let me go with the. Yeah. Let me put the other one right here. We're gonna close this box back up. It's a nice box, nice presentation. White box with the gold Nike, gold swoosh. Actually, it's rose. I lied, not gold. It's rose. Rose, Nike, rose swoosh. So, these here, these beauties here, we here have. The Kyler Murray Nike Dunks. The one of one. I'm about to zoom in real quick while I, while I describe these shoes so y'all can get a better look. All right, y'all, I zoomed in for y'all so y'all can see what we got going on right here with these beautiful, beautiful Nikes. Nike Dunks, if you know me, you know that I love my sneakers, and right now, the Dunks are probably my favorite firearm. Uh, I said firearm. My favorite sneaker. These so heat that they could be classified as a firearm. Because God, whoo, but hey, let's get back to it. So, these here, these Dunks, it's probably my favorite sneaker right now because you could wear Dunks with literally anything. You could wear them with shorts, Jogging pants, jeans, you could go flare, you could go jogger, you could go elastic bottoms, you could go however you want to come. You could wear these with a suit if you want to. Don't go with any and everything, in my personal opinion. So this is why I like. This is why I like. But yeah, so <clears throat> these here are the Kyler Murray Nike Dunks. That just recently dropped here in 2023, at the end of 2023. <clears throat> Let me get y'all the colors off the box. Because I don't want to tell y'all nothing wrong. Y'all see me, size 13. So if somebody want to send me some shoes, make sure they're 13. Now. These are sea glass, sea glass, rose gold, Sailveer Marine. And voil or rose. That sounds crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a picture up there on the screen so y'all can see what I'm saying with these colors. But that's the colors of the shoe. How do you pronounce all that? So here we have our one thing I really like about this shoe is that not all dunks have this feature. Most dunks, the back strap or the back here is stitched in. But these ones, they flip up. Nike to the Chinese. Now, I don't know if them Chinese symbols say Nike or if they say be one of one. 
And the only reason I would say that they might say be one of one is because if you take a look at that tongue, in there on the tongue, it says be one of one. One of one. You got to be you, baby. Can't nobody else be you like you. On the inside, we got the KM for Kyler Murray. I love that. I love that. With the silky bottom. <coughs> Then we got the star on the inside. Like, I love the colorway of the shoe, how they put it together, and everything that's going on. Then we come with the rose gold swoosh. The metallic rose swoosh. This here shoe is a beauty. It didn't come with any other laces. These are the only laces that this shoe comes with. And this shoe here ran me about $140 after tax, I believe. That's another reason I love Dunks. You cannot go wrong on that price. You know what I'm saying? Look at those. Icy. I just want to keep turning to get y'all a nice little view. Icy. Icy. Let me get y'all inside, outside. Let's sit for a minute. Just look at that. Let me back it up, y'all. I don't know why I put it on the corner like that. But look, let me drink some tea to that. <clears throat> I was talking, my tea got cool. Now, as far as these shoes go, I have yet to put these on. I bought them because they were beautiful, as I do many of my other shoes. But I have yet to put them on because I ain't got nothing to wear with them yet. So when I caught me a nice fit with these colors or something that's going to match and make them pop, y'all can see me put these on. But till then, I'm going to leave them in the closet. Yeah, that's what they're going to sit right in the closet. And I love the smell of a new shoe. This might be better than the smell of a new car. That damn near might be the same, honestly. <sighs> well, now let's move on. This is the kick of the day. Kyler Murray, Nike Dump. Check me out. Bang. That's the kick of the day right there. We're gonna throw them back in the box for y'all. And we're gonna move on to the next thing. I ain't really worried about the paper and all that. My shoes clean, so I'm gonna just throw them on top of the paper for now. I ain't sponsored by nobody. Ain't nobody else getting these shoes. Ain't nobody gonna take them from me or nothing, so. And we out. Now, all right, y'all. Now it's time to move on to the blick. We started with the kick. Now we on the blick. And here we have my AR-15 pistol platform. It's an ATI Omni Tactical. I bought this quite a few years ago, and this firearm at the time actually ran me four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. And some of y'all gonna be like, what? How? Who? Huh? When? Yeah. Four. Eight. Big four. Not Charlotte, though. Now I'm just playing. No, this is Charlotte because, you know, we're from the video. <coughs> we're gonna zoom in. Because I'm gonna give y'all a close up on what we're working with. Alright, so. If you can't already see, you about to see. This here is a 65 round magazine, a 60 round. I'm sorry, not 65, 60 round magazine. If you get to 65, it's a drum. I like the magazine version better, personally. That's my personal preference. I also like this magazine much better. I got 60, but then 
I also got another 60. And how I got another 60? Because I got that. I have a coupler on my magazine, which makes this able to hold two magazines. So when I'm shooting and I run out of ammo, I drop, I switch sides and I'm back in the game. That's how that works. Here, we have the AR pistol 7.5 inch barrel platform with the pistol brace on it. They've been going back and forth for whether they're making these legal or illegal for so long. So I just leave mine on here. I don't even mess with it. I rarely take it to the range. When I do, it's always a good time. People always ask me, what am I shooting? What is that? Because if y'all own an AR pistol or a Draco, you know how loud they are. And I go to the range a lot. They, they are very loud. So when you shoot it, people going to ask you, what is that? Because, boom, bow, 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 bow. That motherfucker can You know what I'm saying? All right. But, so that's enough about that. Just saying, on. got to that already, pistol brace. We got the flip up sight. Can't go wrong with Magpul irons. Flip ups. I see too many people out here rocking these ARPs with no sights. No red dot, no iron, no brace, just straight ARP. And how are y'all aiming? How do you know what you are shooting at? Like how? This is why you need your fire on a little something like that. Cause that's crazy, that don't make no sense. Y'all just be shooting and shooting. It's tragic, but as y'all can see, it's nothing in change. Should have started there, but we there now. Got my, this is, so I want to talk to y'all about budget attachments. Cause some people like to spend two, $300 on the site. Some people don't. I'm one of those people who do and don't. Cause if I'm putting a sight on my pistol, I'll spend three or $400. But if I'm putting a sight on my AR, I might not spend that three or four hundred dollars because I'm not using this as often, much less practical. If I was going to the like range consistently with my ARs and all that stuff and I'm shooting and shooting consistently, I would then be like, yeah, I need to spend some money on a decent sight because I don't want it to break. I have had a cheap sight that did break on me. Like I was at the range one day, I actually had this same sight in black. And it lasted me about two years. And I was shooting one day. Bah, 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 bah. The sight exploded. Spring went out. The thing flew apart. Like it was just everywhere in the range. I was just like, what? But I knew it was cheap because I only had spent like $40 on the site. So I wasn't surprised, especially after it lasted like two years and me going to the range a lot. So. You know, but here we got the tan one and I only went and bought another one and it was tan because one, like I said, I don't go to the range and shoot these as much. Most of the time I'm shooting my pistols, like my handguns. And then also it matched the attachments. I didn't have any other ones out there that I saw in a decent price range that matched my tan attachments. So, or desert. Um, yeah, so then we also have our angle four grip here, also a budget grip. Not bad. Y'all see I have the M lock on the sides. Or not the M lock. It's, a, uh, it's not M lock. It's key lock. I believe it's key lock. The holes. Because the M lock is straight. Straight across. No circle on the back. So I don't have many attachments around here. But I do have handguard on the bottom. Because you need that for stability. Keep you in place. Uh, I want to get a flashlight eventually, but I just haven't yet because, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's just sitting in the safe right here. It's one of them safe guns. But I love this firearm. And a lot of people will be like, what? What is it? You know, 
But my AR second closet because I'm very lethal with my pistol. And then here we also have, I forgot, I almost forgot my magnifier. Because if I'm going long range, boom, you see this, you see that? Yeah. Boom, close it back now, open it back up. So I can use my red dot sight. There's nothing in chambers, but I am going to point it in my direction so you can see. Red dot sight. But if I come magnifier, I don't have it on just so y'all know. I'm not trying to show y'all the red dot. But if I got a magnifier, boom. And then at that point, it allows me to see further. So when I go to the range and I'm shooting, let me show y'all what this look like in the pistol so y'all see. That is the 60 round magazine in the ARP. With the green tips. But, um, yeah, so that magnifier is lovely because if I was at the range, like I go to CMP, uh, uh, it's called CMP Talladega. CMP Talladega is the Marksman Range Outdoors in Alabama. Go out there, they got this thing called the Unknown Distance Range. And there, the closer distance, I use my red dot sight with no magnifier. And then when I'm shooting the long range, I'll put the magnifier on so I get a better, you know, sight of what I'm looking at. And get a closer sight as well to see where my rounds are flying. If they off left, off right, low, everything like that. So, yeah. My nose running a bit. I told y'all I'm sick. Grab yeah. his shoes. Lovely handy dandy joints. You get some hands in too. Got some hand sandy right here. Alright, but um, yeah. So, today we gave y'all a kick and a blick. I appreciate y'all tuning in with me with the first episode, very first one of Kicks. I'm tweaking right now of Kicks and Blicks, you know what I'm saying? We gonna come back with another one. We gonna come back with another one for sure, for sure, for sure. Cause I got more Kicks and more Blicks to show y'all. So, thank you to the Kyler Murrays. Thank you to the ATI Omni Tactical ARP 556. 7.5 inch barrel pistol burner, you know. Thank y'all both. I appreciate y'all lovely beauties. And uh, we're gonna tap in with the people next time. They're gonna see you in the fit one day. They haven't seen you at the range before, but they might see you again. So we're gonna have a good day. And we out.